G'day guys, just recently my kids have expressed a great interest in learning how to tablet weave. They want to earn themselves some pocket money by doing tablet weaving for belts and fabric trims to sell to other people through an Etsy store. Fantastic initiative I think. And as we get started I wanted to share with you about my tablet weaving cards. Let's take a look. Tablet weaving has been around for some at least 2,000 years. It goes back uh, a long, long way and examples have been found all over Europe that date back uh, right into the so-called classical period and the migration period. So I really like this and I really want to um, create some really authentic garments and that kind of thing and I want to share that with my community. So I've gone about uh, creating some of these tablet weaving cards for all of my kids, all up. I think I've done around about 100. So let's take a little bit of a look. Tablet weaving cards like this one can come in a whole range of different shapes. There's circular ones, hexagonal ones, I think I've even seen a triangular one, uh, and square ones. Square being the most common. Typically the, the square ones have four holes, but sometimes five, depends on the type of pattern you use. Alrighty, let's take a little look at my card. The cards that I have, I've got colour coded, so I know whose they are. I've got three kids, myself, and uh, one of my friends who are doing this. So we've all got colour coding cards. On one side is our colour, on the flip side uh, just is the, the ordinary varnish. I've made mine out of plywood, you can make them out of cereal boxes, you can make them out of um, greeting cards, you can make them out of all sorts of different things. But I wanted to keep mine, let me see, relatively authentic, at least, you know, and um, so I went with, with a wood. The holes that I have are 6mm holes, and you'll see that they are numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4. So again, that links in with the patterns. On the top of my cards, my cards anyway, are, are indicated with red, so I always know in which direction the pattern is facing, so to speak. So as you rotate the card through the patterns, then um, it's, it's always useful to have a colour reference to refer back to whilst you're using your cards. And as a guide, my cards are 8 by 8 centimetres. That is roughly uh, 3 and a half inches by 3 and a half inches. Now there's a whole range of different um, materials you can use for tablet weaving. We're going to get into that in a lot more detail as we progress. But I wanted just to give you an introduction today to the cards and if you choose to make your own then here's an example of what you can do. As I say, you can use cereal boxes, you can use um, things like uh, greeting cards, birthday cards, Christmas cards, whatever it might be. And as long as you've got a consistent shape and the holes are consistently placed then it really works really well. Um, I like the way I've got mine with wood and they're colour coded. Again, no one's going to be arguing over, you know, he's got my cards. Um, because I say, as I say, I've, I've made around, I think it's 12 cards each. So there's like, oh, I don't know. Um, I've made around about 100 or so of these cards. Pretty exciting. Really looking forward to getting into this. Uh, can't wait because we've got some of these videos will be coming out over the school holidays in Australia. So in the next week or two, we're hoping to be able to release a couple. Uh, on tablet weaving. Uh, I think it's going to be lots of fun. 
can't wait to do this. So uh, please stay tuned. Please come back next week and um, and see how we're going. It might be a complete failure. It might be an astounding success. Righto, guys. I hope you found today's video interesting. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you in my next video. Thank you.